Welcome class! In this video, you will learn how immunohistochemistry or IHC is performed in the laboratory. In this particular activity, we will be demonstrating the formalin-fixed paraffin-embedded immunohistochemistry. So upon completion of your tissue processing starting from fixation down to sectioning, we will then deparaffininize the tissue by immersing the slide in silene for 5 minutes. Then another silene for 10 minutes. Then rehydrate the tissue by immersing it in descending concentrations of alcohol for 2 minutes each. Rinse it with distilled water after. Then, immerse the slide in phosphate buffered solution until you are ready to proceed with the next step. While the tissue is immersed in PBS, we need to prepare our antigen retrieval solution by warming it in the microwave for one minute. Avoid boiling. We also need to prepare our humid chamber. This will keep our tissue from drying throughout the entire IHC procedure. Here, we made an improvised chamber out from a food container. A small platform is glued in the center which will hold the slide. Paper towels are lined around the area, while the outside of the chamber is wrapped in foil. So once everything has been assembled, apply distilled water to your paper towels and always keep them moist the entire IHC process. Next is to outline the area around the tissue section using a pap pen. This creates a barrier ensuring that the reagent is confined in a defined area. Make enough allowance between the tissue and the margin. So once everything is ready, we can now proceed with the antigen retrieval step. First, we apply the warm antigen retrieval solution on the tissue section. Ensure that the entire specimen is covered with the solution. and incubate it inside the chamber for 7 minutes at room temperature. Next, remove the ARS or the antigen retrieval solution and apply the next reagent, which is the PBS Triton X. Also, ensure complete coverage of the tissue. Incubate it inside the chamber for 20 minutes at the room temperature. Then, remove the PBS and apply the blocking solution.
and again, always ensure that the entire tissue is covered. Incubate the tissue with the blocking solution inside the chamber for 30 minutes at room temperature. After incubation, remove the blocking solution. Then apply the primary antibody. Make sure you use sterile tips in pipetting the primary antibodies. And again, ensure that the entire tissue is covered. After the complete application of the primary antibody, incubate it inside the chamber overnight at roughly 4 degrees Celsius or ref temperature. Succeeding steps will follow the next day which will be tackled in our IHC Activity 2. Thank you for watching.